Kubara pledges to develop River State despite political crisis. River State has been going through a um, series of uh, political crises from court um, cases over funds or allocation of funds for local government to war of words between him and his um, uh, predecessor. I don't know if I should use Godfather. Because these two, they were really, really close. They worked together, days leading to the governorship election. And all of a sudden, both of them have turned to arch enemies. No one knows the real reason behind uh, their, their, their war or the fight between them. Wiki has claimed that uh, Fubara is a betrayer. Fubara and his part has said that um, it is God that helped him into that position and nobody can take the role of God. Meaning that insinuating that... Um, Yes, yes, some weak case trying to take the position of God that that will not happen. But in spite of all of this going on, Fubara has pledged to develop uh, the state. You know, um, there was even one time um, um, Wiki was told that you claim to love this state so much. Why are you hindering uh, uh, work being done in the state? Because the time this governor will spend dealing with matters of um, the state how to move the state forward. It's, it's time he's using to concentrate on what Wiki has said, replying Wiki, and back and forth. This back and forth. And what that is not the reason he became governor to start um, uh, um, sending words back and forth to Wiki. His job is for the state, is for River State, to see how River State will move forward. I, I believe that probably um, he's come to realize that um, the main his main job there is to develop the state. So he's Put out the pledge there before um, he was he, he will lost the confidence and the trust of uh, uh, the people of the state. He's come to tell the people that um, he's committed to developing the state, regardless of in spite of um, the current political crisis. Well, guys, um, we'll bring you all of the details in a bit. But before we do, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, click on the like button. If it's your first time here, you're very welcome. Please click on the subscribe button. God bless you. Now into the details of the report. Despite the prolonged political crisis in the oil-rich river state, Governor Simina Laie Fubara has vowed that nothing would distract his administration from developing the state and attracting investment. This is as the governor took steps to activate the moribund Port Harcourt tourist beach, which was abandoned for years. According to the governor, he plans to make the facility become a cherished center for the promotion of all related acts, culture, and tourism activities. The governor explained that some of the steps taken so far include sand filling of the swamping section of the land at the beach and engagement of an investor that is trusted to effectively turn things around and manage the facility. Obara spoke during a tour on Tuesday at the beach to access progress of the ongoing sound filling work. The Port Harcourt Tourist Beach, located off Churchill Road, a downtown axis of the city leading to Borough Kiri in the 90s and early 2000s, was a notable tourist center that attracted visitors, including foreigners, and also served as a boost to government revenue generation. Meanwhile, former Niger Delta militant leader Asari Dokubo has alleged that President Bola Tinubu is supporting the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Aesom Wiki, to destabilize the peace in rivers. He expresses disappointment in Tinubu for allowing Wiki to run amok, including procuring court judgment to remove the governor, Fubara. As a stakeholder in the state, I feel disappointed for the president to allow his minister to run a mock procure judgment and all sorts threatening the people of rivers because what they are trying to do is to remove fubara thinking nothing will happen and i'm saying that if you remove fubara something will happen and that is it he said when asked dokubo stated that he still stands by his words and that he should be held responsible if president tinubu fails to deliver I still stand by that statement. That is why I'm crying out because I'm vigorously liable for any expectation of the Nigerian people, not just the Niger Delta people. This is because I stood in front of everybody and I'm not going to deny what I said.
obviously, um, the, the fight between Fubara and uh, Yesom Wiki is um, something that would actually distract or something that would actually um, stop, um, um, distract the administration from carrying out all of the development plans, all of the activities, the functions as a governor, what he needs to do for the people, serve the people, listen to the people, and make life better for the people. All of this will certainly distract um, the governor. But um, the governor has a, has a, a sat up. He's come to know that um, he will not give in to all of these distractions. That's the most important thing because these uh, um, claims, as soon as Wiki releases a statement, the next thing you hear a statement. So all of those time put in to all of those energy into all of those back and forth, they are really unnecessary. This is time for him to sit down. The people have voted for him. It's time for him to sit down and concentrate on the state. And he's taking a good step. This is a good step. So um, he made this remark when he actually went to tour um, one of the um, tourist um, um, site that has been abandoned. That's a question to ask because it's been like how many governors um, before him and that place, he said that place has been abandoned for a long time. His predecessor, um, Yesom Wiki, um, didn't do anything about that. One thing that helps um, good governance, that even helps um, for um, sustainable development is continuity. Continuity. And we, we, we find, we, we we come to see that um, these governors and politicians, they, they don't like, I don't know, they don't like continuity so that um, a project or something will be on their name. They are the ones that started it. They are the ones that finished it. They don't want to do or start from where anybody um, stops. But it shouldn't be so. The, the reasons why that uh, tourist center was abandoned is not known. But um, now that uh, Fubara have started to um, bring it back to life, it should be something that... Uh, when the next administration comes in, they should carry on from there, not abandon it again. It's not Fubara alone, it's a continuation. They work together, but because they don't like continuity, that's one of the reasons they fight. Because if they are they follow continuity, there will be no reason for even Fubara and Wiki to be fighting at this moment. They should be um, liaising together, having conversations, Wiki reminding him that, yes, this is what I, I you need to carry on from this point, you need to carry on from this point, and all of those sort of talk not God for that reason talks and um, uh, coming to cash out for themselves and all of those kind of things. Well, guys, um, Fubara has taken the stand now. He's um, really pledged to develop the state despite um, the political crisis in the state. Let us know your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. And please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.